I was looking for a good way to practice golf in my backyard, so I picked up these birdie balls. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You might want to practice your golf swing, and getting out to the driving range or getting on the golf course might not be the easiest way to do that. And so a lot of us like to go into our backyard and just hit some golf balls. Now, the problem with that is that unless you have, like, 50 acres of land, you just can't hit golf balls into the middle of nowhere so you need something that's going to bleed off the energy bleed off the speed and really go a short distance but you really do want to take a full swing and one of the things that i had when i was a kid are little wiffle balls now there have been some innovations in practice golf balls and these are called birdie balls now uh, as far as i can tell here <laughs> these are all the same but they just have different labels on them and what they are are kind of like little rings that have some weight and they are plastic, I assume, and you can kind of hit them with a full swing. And apparently they will even behave like real golf balls. So if you've done something to kind of close the face and it's gonna draw on you, uh, I think it'll kind of draw. And if you're slicing, it'll kind of show that too. So not only is it a practice aid just to kind of get your swing tempo and rhythm down and your technique and to make contact and feel that contact when you're hitting it, but I think they will potentially even behave a little bit like golf balls and give you a little bit of feedback. Now, I will say they're not here huge and they are probably about the same dimensions as a golf ball but obviously as a cylinder as opposed to a sphere they're kind of differently shaped i will also say they kind of feel a little bit like this is a pvc pipe that's cut down and then the edges are rounded because i don't know hey you know they're probably molded specifically for this, but constructed in such a way, that's what I'm reminded of. Now, I am kind of curious, one, will they behave like golf balls? Will I get feedback? Will they give me a backyard golf ball hitting experience that is useful in training? And the second thing is, because they're plastic, will they last? So let's try them out. So I'm out here with my pitching wedge, and this is about a 100-yard club for me. I don't have a lot of distance here, so I definitely have to keep it within 30 or 40 yards. So hopefully these birdie balls will bleed off enough speed that I won't hit them that far. Now, I think to actually hit these, you sit them up vertically like this. So you will hit into them just like this. So I'm going to hit them that way and see what we can do. All right, that actually felt really good. You heard like a big ding when you actually hit it and that thing flew really straight. I'm gonna actually open up the club face now and see if I can slice them around. That really only went about 25 or 30 yards away. So I'm gonna put a little bit of slice on this and see if it does anything. Yeah, that definitely sliced. So now I'm kind of curious if I can draw it, hook it around and see if that'll do anything. So I'm gonna close up the club head a little bit here definitely wasn't able to shape that one to the left but I generally play a fade so I'm going to try to hit this one with a slice again open up the club head see if I can hit it to the right and I did so what I actually really like about these is that if you have a tendency to hit left right or straight it tends to be reflected in the hit here so I'm just going to try to hit this one straight down the middle And I probably came across that one and opened it up a little bit. But I really actually like the way they fly. And you don't have quite the resistance like you do when you hit a real golf ball. You don't feel the ring in the club. But they actually do kind of ding. And they do give you a little bit of that sensation of hitting something. So it's not just going out and practicing your swing and not hitting anything. Or hitting a wiffle ball, which you actually won't even feel any resistance on the head. So I definitely like that above those types of options. So if you want to pick up the birdie balls, I'll put a link to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.